Welcome to the Boss Coin live stream. Today we're going to be talking about the Ant Miner Z9, kind of like our last stream, if you saw that. But it's not just about the Z9 because that was kind of breaking news at the time. This is about the response to the Z9. What cryptocurrency projects are going to be forking? So just to recap on it real quick, it mines Equihash only. It uses 300 watts and it has a hash rate of 10,000 souls. So pretty wild. If we click over to what to mine, we put in 15 1080 Ti's. That gives us that same hash rate, which is just, just crazy. In comparison, your investment is wildly different. Go price out 15 1080 Ti's even after the price on them have come down. Based on the projection, if everything were to stay the same, which it won't, you would not, once these release, the mining earnings will not be the same on Equihash, probably about one third. Either way, that's just an estimate. You'll see if you were the only one who had one and you threw it on the network right now, you'd be making about 38 bucks a day after your electric cost. So how did the community respond? Well, this is a good Reddit post, and you can see I have a link to this in the description. I think I forgot to add it, but I'll add it later. I have a link to this, and with it, it has links out to all these projects. A couple of these aren't updated. I'm sure he's going to update and this guy's doing a good job. So let's get to the most important one. Let me tell you why. So we go over here and I'm just grabbing this for the network hash rate. We have a network hash rate of almost 400 megasoles a second. Okay. So that's more than four times, much more than four times Zencash and way bigger than anything else on the Equihash network. Which means that Zcash is the most important response to this. What are they going to do? They're the biggest company. They have, it's Zcash company, so Zero Coin Electric Company. They have the most pieces of their puzzle to deal with. And we click over here and we can see this response. So um, this, this one dev right here, she's been very vocal in speaking out against the ASIC miners. She's not into it. But the rest of her team was like, hey, it's not that simple. And she understands that, I'm sure, being in her position. But so let's let's read this right here. This is this is like very important, the most important part of the whole video. So complex complexity, risk budget, whatever, changing the POW, proof of work, aka the mining algorithm, aka invalidating these ASIC miners so that they are unable to mine on Zcash's Equihash algorithm. Is she's saying that it is not feasible to do this? By, like before sapling hits and if she is the most vocal of their team saying hey you know I'm not into these ASIC miners I get it I understand the GPU miners point of view well if she's already saying that it's not gonna happen before sapling which comes out in July then that's not a good look as far as from a GPU miner point of view however if you bought the Z9 well, that's, that's initially good news. It's initially good news. So they're looking at it. One thing they have discussed is the opportunity to have an ASIC Zcash coin maintained by Zuko and whoever else I get, which he's like the CEO of Zcash basically, or the Zcash Foundation, basically led by this girl, to take this and become ASIC resistant. And they would have two coins. Who knows, that could be an epic money grab for them. Not saying that it's just that, it's much more than that, but that's one That's one uh, point of view you could take there. Either way, th you know, this is another good point here. Wallets, exchanges, Shapeshift, all of these other, all this infrastructure built around Zcash, they're a very big project. They can't just roll over and be like, okay, new algorithm today. It's not that simple. Everything has to be changed and updated. If their network just, you know, falls to nothing that's a huge reflection on their project and really reduces their value so what if you're asic resistant if your coins worthless you kind of miss the mark and i'm not saying i promote asics there so stop taking my stuff out of context man so with that we, we got a two to three month leeway on there so in classic asic miner concept it's likelihood i see it that people who buy the z9 will at a minimum make their money back <clears throat> and that's kind of like on a day to day. They're going to make their money back, right? I'm not saying it's a great investment. I'm not endorsing it or whatever, but if you bought one, I wouldn't really be worried because this is the big project with most of the hash rate and we got a 3 month lead time. Your your estimated return on investment or break even point with that investment would probably be like 3 months, right? And so uh here's another thing just to click and open this up. You can see this is uh your boy Zuko right here. 
And right now they're in overwinter. Moving to sapling. A lot of cool upgrades in sapling, but get this. Most of these Equash, or all of these Equash coins are uh, forks of Zcash. So it's kind of like their big daddy. And whatever daddy does, they all got to follow to some extent if they want to keep that same tech. Otherwise, they're going to have out of date privacy tech. Because that's the cool thing about Zencash. You've got basically everything. Uh, you like the shirt, guys? Come on, you like the shirt? You, so that's the thing with Zencash. You got everything Zcash has pretty much. Plus, they are advancing and building so much upon that. But here's the problem. They need to stay in line with these Zcash tech upgrades. So they're going to move very closely with them. It's, it's much bigger than just changing the algorithm. Granted, I want to see them do it. So don't, don't take this the wrong way. And here we can see in July, they're moving to a new setup. Secure nodes are going to make decent money. Which, again, I know I've been saying this for a little while, but we got secure node tutorial coming up. Maybe sooner or later right then we got super nodes coming they're gonna get 10 percent and then the treasuries get a bump up to 10 percent to you know fund all their projects and their personnel and so forth and miners are getting they're getting the short end of the stick you know it's moving down to 70 percent but in contrary i think all these moves will make the project more valuable and this isn't professional investment advice i'm just a doge dad okay so just to get that out of the way i think this is going to make the project more valuable because just think about it. We've got basically mat like two forms of master nodes, right? Plus bumping up the treasury. So you, I mean, they're, they're clearly not a cash grab op. So they're going to bring on more people and do more stuff, thus promoting adoption and whatever. So that's my two cents on that. But more importantly, is that this also deters their interest in in mining some. Because of that, they're going to be less inclined to have. As, as uh, one of their co-founders, Roth said, a knee-jerk reaction. Because they're already reducing their earnings um, or uh, percentage to miners. So they're going to do the best. They're going to create the best move for their coin. Also, Roth, who's the one, Block Ops, who wrote this post. It's a great post. I have it in the description. Click it. This is what it looks like. Potential Echoash algorithm change. Okay. He's a very, very skilled, intelligent guy. Okay. this He's a very impressive guy in blockchain as far as I'm concerned. And bad news for us GPU miners out here, he does like ASIC mining. And he operates under the premise ASIC mining is not going to be if, it's going to be a when it becomes the next step. However, to be essentially divergent, I think Zencash can make an, uh, basically an epic power move here to go against the grain of Zcash and beat them to the punch, be GPU mineable, and be almost like the voice of the people, right? I think that'd be a good move. If I was them, that's what I would be doing, but I'm not them. But, you know, in the future, you never know what could happen, you know what I mean? But, I don't know, maybe I'm hitting at something, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not. So, anyway, that goes on. Let's see. Basically, they have this, there's this adjustment coming for July, which is going to coincide with that Zcash tech upgrade. And at that point, they're really going to start digging deep what they can do and if they want to even do it. So, again, at least, at least a month after, a month past July. So now we're looking at August. Add in some more stuff. We're looking at September. I think the earliest we could see a, a real Zen Cash fork would be like September. And that's if it even does it as far as an algorithm change. I may be wrong. This is just speculation. But that's that's my two cents on the subject. One other thing to keep in mind, I forgot to touch on this, is the uh, Z9 originally had a limit of one per person, but then all these projects started saying, hey, we're going to fork. So Bitmain didn't like that. But guess what? Bitmain said, hey, you can order 50 now. So, well, I got to log in and stuff, but whatever. The point is that you can order 50, which isn't necessarily good for decentralization. It's going to promote farm use. And it's also kind of looking like, uh-oh, hey, guys, <laughs> we better dump this stuff because <laughs> they're kind of forking. So, you know, you're buying these ASIC miners and you're looking at the opportunity to pretty much just make your money back, more or less. Not like you're going to make epic gains, bro. So... That's that's my two cents on that.
As far as the other popular projects, you know we did a video on Snow Gem. They're a pretty cool project and they have a master node concept, which I'm excited to see. But long story short, they will fork to be anti-ASIC. This is their main guy right here and he announced it. So if he says it, it's gonna happen. Bitcoin Private has also decided that they will be leading, they seem to be wanting to lead the ASIC resistance charge. They've had some recent fallout lately. If you look up, uh, uh, this will be a little bit of a, a side note. Also, make sure to follow us on uh, Twitter. So, if you guys don't know about this, this is just a little ridiculous. So, we got we got homeboy down here, and what's all this Bitcoin Prime stuff? I thought he was with Bitcoin Private. Well, long story short, I guess the squad had some kind of falling out or or something. But uh, but homeboy right here is going to be making another fork. Anyway. <laughs> just I, I you guys can form your own decisions but you could probably tell with my tone what I think about this uh, you can't just make a new coin every week it's kind of getting kind of ridiculous as far as Bitcoin Z they're gonna be they've been trying to lead the uh, ASIC resistance here too ASIC resistance is you know woven into their white paper and quite honestly Bitcoin Z has zero purpose if they're not ASIC resistance because that's kind of the whole premise about bringing it back to the people and operating under the GPU mining premise and that would also be the same as Bitcoin gold which I kind of think is a junk project if you look back in their launch epic pre and mine huge pump in the beginning I think they dumped it all then and then they also uh, had a hidden fee had a hidden fee so that's nice that's, that's what I wanted my crypto some hidden fees man oh my god and uh, remember, we covered some stuff on Komodo. They've had uh, so they've been associated with some bad stuff lately, attacking Safecoin, which that's a whole other video. But long story short, and, and I'm not saying they did. I, I'm not making a statement on that yet, for, for whatever that's worth. If it even matters, if I'm just some dude who has a Doge and makes statements. But anyway, we won't be changing the proof of work just because there's an ASIC. He doesn't care, and their notary nodes own their coin anyway. So quite honestly, it doesn't matter. And if you don't if every coin forks you almost want to be like the one coin that doesn't because at least you have purpose-built hardware for your stuff but then you're also going to be particularly mined and probably dumped because people will be trying to make their money back or they're like well, wow why did i buy this thing so they're going to go long-term holding on you hoping that your price surges so that one day they can get their original bitcoin investment back asic mining seems really cool i mean <laughs> why don't we all do it but on the contrary there is really good ASIC mining and there is a lot of potential money to be made with it depending on the scenario and the situation. It's like everything else. So again, crypto, crazy, speculation. You just never know. Look at this guy. We haven't confirmed this is real. Uh, it's not a very convincing piece there. But what I don't like about ASIC miners is they create an arms race. Why would anyone buy your ASIC miner other than the other one, uh, other than the simple fact that it's better it produces more it, it, it just it's an arms race it's as simple as that so we've got you know a 4x z9 here at a much more than 4x price so congrats guys you, you kind of lost but anyway it looks pretty cool because it's silent water cooling i mean oh, look, please do not buy this because i don't know if it's real i don't want you to be like dude you got me scammed out of like 15 grand what the hell man like <laughs> dude I, I warned you i warned you I definitely warned you. <clears throat> as far as the other projects, I mean, I don't really cons I, I consider Hush a joke at this point. Absolutely. Um, Safecoin is interesting. Look it up. They're a fork of Komodo, and they've had all kinds of drama associated because of that, which is unfortunate. And pretty much all the other Equihash forks will be uh, probably following suit with the anti ASIC movement. So, you know, ultimately here, guys, again, you know, it, it revolves around Zcash. Zcash is this giant player here with Zencash being the second one. I really encourage you to read these articles and, you know, do your own research, form your own opinions. I'm just here to relay some stuff. In addition to all this ASIC mining, there's also been a huge surge in interest and really just publication of FPGA mining, which is worthy of an entirely own video in itself so either way stick with the channel we'll be covering all that stuff because that's uh, what we do and other than that guys please speaking of that you know 
make sure to smash the thumbs up on the video especially if you're watching it live right now and then go ahead and subscribe to the channel stick with us we're aiming to be the biggest crypto channel to see if we can make it happen and uh, yeah so now thanks for watching that's the end of the actual video I'm gonna open up some Q&A and everything else so that's why it's always good to tune in live with Bosscoin. I'll see you next time